Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0 Beta 5, preserve your baseband, and bypass the UDID check with Snowbreeze V2.8 B5. So you don't have to worry about registering your UDID. Snowbreeze is going to remove the UDID so you can get iOS 5. So all you need to do is jailbreak with Snowbreeze. Your baseband is going to be preserved and you're gonna bypass the UDID check. So if you don't want to jailbreak your iDevice, but you still wanna get iOS 5 and your UDID isn't registered, cause the only way you can bypass the check is if you jailbreak your iDevice to remove the beta lines. So if you don't wanna jailbreak, you can just visit the link in the description where you can get your UDID registered. So there'll be a link in the description, you can visit that and get your UDID registered if you don't wanna go through all this and jailbreak your iDevice. Now there's a couple key things to note. It only works for the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th gen, the iPad 1, iPhone 4, GSM and CDMA, and the iPhone 3GS new boot RAM only. It doesn't work for the old boot RAM. So keep that in mind. Also remember this jailbreak is tethered, so you're gonna have to use iBooty to boot your device tethered every time your battery dies, your phone reboots, or you turn off your iDevice. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need iTunes 10.5 Beta 5. You're going to need Snowbreeze V2.8 B5. And you're going to need your iOS 5 Beta 5 IPSW firmware. Links in the description to everything. You guys already know that's how I do my stuff, including a guide. So let's start. The first thing you're going to do is right click Snowbreeze, click Properties, check Compatibility. Check off run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Service Pack 2. Check off run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and then hit OK. Now you're going to run Snowbreeze. Yes. Hit OK. Close credits. As you can see it says it doesn't work for the old boot RAM iPhone 3G. So click next. Now we're going to browse for iOS 5.0 Beta 5 IPSW. Click that. So this is good for the unlockers, unlockers, this jailbreak is good for you guys because it's going to preserve your baseband and you can use the GV sim. I'm not sure if Ultra Snow works, but I know the GV sim works. So we're going to click next and we're going to check export mode, click next, general, click next. And we're going to leave this check, remove UDID check slash better timer. And we're going to, we don't have to click anything else, just click next, next, build IPSW firmware or IPSW and now Snowbreeze is gonna work its magic we're gonna come back when Snowbreeze is finished so now that Snowbreeze is finished we're gonna get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode so we're just gonna hit OK and now we're gonna put our iDevice into DFU mode if you don't know how to do that don't worry I'll show you we will hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds then release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Snowbreeze recognizes your iDevice. So we're going to click start and get ready to do it. So let's go. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Release 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. Now Snowbreeze has recognized an iDevice. Please make sure your iDevice is plugged in. I always forget to say that. So after Snowbreeze is done, just click OK. And you can close out Snowbreeze and open up iTunes. So iTunes is going to recognize your iDevice is in upon DFU state so we're just gonna click shift on the keyboard and then press restore in iTunes and we're gonna browse on our desktop Snowbreeze normally puts the IPSW on your desktop for that iOS 5.0 beta 5 firmware so we're just gonna click it right here and then we're gonna click restore now iTunes is gonna work its magic I'm gonna come back when iTunes is finished so now that iTunes is finished you're going to need to set up your iOS 5. You don't have to worry about UDID check, so you just going to just have to set it up. As in putting your Wi-Fi, password, and all that stuff. I already went ahead to do that stuff. There's enough videos on the internet for that. 
So you're going to realize that your Safari, your Cydia and your Safari is crashing. Don't panic. That's common for Tether jailbreak. So now what we're going to do now, we're going to go back over to the computer and we're going to run iBooty. It's going to be on your desktop. There's where Snowbreeze puts it. And we're going to run that. And now we're going to select our iDevice, which should be the only one. My iPod Touch 4 Gen, that's what I'm using. And we're going to get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode like we just did. So we're going to hit start and get ready to do the process. So let's go. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Release. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. Now iBooty has recognized our iDevice, so we're just going to let iBooty work its magic. iBooty is done, our iDevice is now booting up tethered. So now that our iDevice is booted up, now your Cydia and your Safari should now be working as normal. You are now jailbroken and the jailbreak force be with you. Please remember this is a tethered jailbreak so you're going to have to use iBooty to boot your iDevice tethered every time your battery dies or you reboot your iDevice or you powered it off. So you don't have to worry about UDID check now. Your baseband is preserved. You can now unlock your iDevice with your GV sim, I don't know if Ultra Snow is working, but I know the GV sim works. So that's basically it. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.